Boo. Ah, los asusté. No sé qué. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos de, bienvenidos de regreso a mi canal. Bon venu o mon chanel. Así le voy a estar haciendo para los que hablen francés, me entiendan. Um, just kidding. So today we're going to be making chicken fajitas. Um, when I first started recording on Snap, like my little mini tutorials, it was one of the dishes that I did on there. A lot of my, you know, people, like a lot of my followers and um, a lot of like my friends that I have on Snap were like, hey, you should do like a video. You my dad actually was like, hey, can you make some chicken fajitas? Like se me antoja la verdura, el broccoli. And I was like, fucking hate broccoli but yes dad i'll do it because why not you know so if you want to go ahead and learn how to make um chicken fry i can't speak if you want to learn si quieren aprender como hacer fajitas de pollo um sigan viendo este video por favor denle like suscríbanse a mi canal and share okay let's get started welcome back to my channel okay guys so I have all my ingredients. I'm gonna go through them quickly and then show you um, how I start prepping the chicken and the veggies. So for the chi uh, chicken, I always say chicken. For the chicken fajitas, you're gonna need a pound and a half of chicken breast. So I always usually you, I already have it cut up here. Because we had a technical diff difficulty, I always use chicken breast, like the whole one, so it's like two halves that make like the hard looking one. Um, my mom, defrosted chicken thighs so what i did was like you know what i gotta work with what i have I'll guys and just to let you know the thighs worked out a lot better because they do have more fat than the breasts so they were juicier the breasts would just still bomb but would come out a little bit more dry we will cut them into pieces and um, take off the bone just so it'd be easier so you're gonna need a whole chicken breast again my family's size of five so this is for about five of us um, I'm gonna go ahead and then t show you guys the rice process as well. I'm gonna make Mexican rice as a side. So I have basics, um, chicken bouillon, tomato sauce, the corn, the rice, and the oil. And then I have all my veggies for the chicken fajitas. So my parents love broccoli. I hate it, I just take it off. But we're gonna use a whole thing, a bunch, a brunch, a bunch of um, broccoli, a purple onion, two tomatoes and um i'm gonna go ahead and put the list like a shopping list in the description um thank you for those of you who have like requested it i know it makes it easier to have it there for you and then bell peppers so they were kind of small today so i got two green ones two red ones two yellow slash orangey ones they didn't have orange there so i just got those three colors and then four jalapenos the peppers are up to your um discretion whatever you want because the bell peppers usually usually aren't spicy but the jalapenos can be and as i mentioned before I'll get the ones that have veins a little spicier you can add two three whatever you want but that's what we're gonna be needing for our chicken fajitas i'm gonna go ahead wash my veggies chop them up show you once i start um grilling them and then how to prep your chicken and we'll be back all right friends so we're actually gonna have a couple things cooking we're gonna separate it we're gonna have the broccoli the chicken um before you start cutting your vegetables i recommend start doing your chicken just because it's what it takes longer to cook um they have asked me though like oh do you wash your chicken and so some of y'all <laughs> my dad was born so i hope i don't make you guys snore like my dad is anyways some of y'all have been asking me, oh, do you wash your chicken? And the question, the answer actually is no. So quick story time. I used to work in food service and a lot of our, our training was like, oh, food contamination. So chicken, all the bacteria comes with the whole salmonella, whatever. If you wash it, all you're doing is spreading that over your sink, your, you know, your knife and stuff. So you always just want to boil it. The boiling, the process of that is what kills your bacteria. So you do not have to wash your chicken. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and season our chicken. I have, y'all know my favorite, garlic salt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some, and I already have my chicken pre-cut, my, well, my hands are washed. I cut them just into smaller cubes, um, so again, they're faster to cook. We're gonna go ahead and add some garlic salt. You're gonna shake it around three times, back and forth. 
And then I have this um, Morden Season All. We love using the seasoning for our beef, but I also use it for um, our chicken. Since I already added garlic salt, this also has salt in it. I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple shakes. One, two. And then I forgot to mention, but you will be needing a lime. Actually, a lemon. Go ahead. This is just for taste. Like, I love a well-seasoned prep chicken just because I'm not a big vegetable fan. Although I season my veggies too, but I just want to make sure my chicken is bomb all seasoned up. Ooh, look at how juicy those limones are. Mm -mm. I'm going to make, make some limonada right now. Eh. But I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in there. Make sure it's like even. And you can tell right away with the amount of chicken if you need extra seasoning. Again, always add rather than obviously take away. So just go ahead and mix that. If you feel like at once it's cooking and you taste it, that it needs more. Then we could add some, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in a pan and we'll show you. Those and a one, two, three. Yeah? Okay. Um, I already have my pot slash whatever the heck this is. Um, I like to I like to use a little casuarita because sometimes with the small like the thinner ones it could fall out. But it's been preheating. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my chicken. I'm literally gonna add barely enough, barely enough, a tad bit of oil. Just because I like the chicken cooks in its own juice. So, that was, it's been um, warming up already. So, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken back up because this is going to jump. So, alrighty, my friends, I took a little, take a break because my dad apparently wants to be active <laughs> and make noise. And just usually because when the uh, searing, you can hear like the noise and no se oye. Pero um, lo que hice fue calentar la olla, echarle poquitito aceite porque me gusta que el pollo se cose en su jugo. So I like it to cook in its own juice that it, you know, its own fat that the chicken are naturally already has. So I'm just going to go ahead, mix it up, make sure all the seasoning is in there. Um, I have it on uh, medium low. So when I was preheating it, I like it to be super hot. You always want your pots and pans to be hot before you add your food. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is leave it here, let it cook for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come check on it, mix it, and then we're gonna cover it for another 15. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the rice and the veggies, because we're gonna have everything cooking at the same time. So, we'll be so I was gonna make um, arroz, Mexicanos, I was gonna do like the Mexican rice, but by what would you call it? By suggestion, by I don't know. My my dad actually wants me to do white rice. So for white rice, I have this special like recipe. I'm gonna try to be like as consistent and explain it all, but as fast because we have all our other stuff to make. So for the white rice, you need. And you can come closer. <laughs> um, I also use some corn you need a carrot you need two cups of rice four cups of water remember every cup of rice is two cups of water so i have two cups and four cups of water you need queso seco i know it might seem weird but trust the process and of course our chicken bouillon um i have oh and most importantly the butter so you need about three tablespoons of butter. This has been preheating, so it might make some noise as well. But we're gonna go ahead and add the butter, of course. If you add a little extra, nothing's gonna happen except your calorie count is gonna go up. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and let this melt in here. I love butter, so usually like I'll add a little extra and let it melt just a little bit. You don't want, want to wait for it to fully like um, evaporate. So as soon as it's melting, you want to go ahead and add your two cups of rice. And make sure the butter gets in there with all of your rice. Mm -mm -mm. Just want to make sure that the rice is fully covered in some butter. If you see, like, starts turning like that yellow buttery color. If it's too um, dry for you, go ahead and add a little bit of extra butter. 
Um, you can use margarine too. I just, oh, I just prefer the natural butter stick. So right now I have it on super low heat. So from a one to 10, I have it at like a one, just because I want this to cook slowly and well. So once your rice is fully um, drenched in the butter, you're gonna go ahead and add your four cups of water. If you decide to use one cup of rice, then just add two cups of water, but I already had mine pre-measured. Go ahead and get that in there. Mixture blending is go ahead and add your chicken bouillon. Just because I usually like this. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Someone lend me their apartment, please. I will pay you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, um, oh, I use this for the butter. Don't mind the cucharita. That's a little dirty, but you're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon and probably a little extra just to get that flavor in there. Again, you guys know it's all tanteo. Like, okay, so the reason why I like to add my polvos first is just because I want it to melt in there. I want it to all dis dissolve. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some queso cojit. Cotija, so dried cheese. I know this is surprising for people, but you're just literally gonna dissolve it. Gonna if you have the little cheese grater, it's easier. But this works too. I learned this from my mom, and I swear it doesn't smell. It doesn't taste bad. Um, I don't know. It just gives it like a different flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got about two chunks of it, just because I am doing two cups of rice. But go ahead and let that dissolve in there. Do, 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 do. Mix it, remember? Mix, mix, mix. I know it looks funky right now, but the outcome and the taste, delicious. So, next comes our zanahoria. Um, I actually... Yapa! Are you recording? I, yes, sir. I get that by that. I'm just kidding. I think he's done. Anyways, um, I already washed my carrot and um, cut off the first ugly layer. So what you want to do next is you're going to just grate some of this carrot with your pelapapas. Just going to do that for about half of the carrot into small pieces. I don't know what it is about this. Literally, this recipe I stole from my mom, but it makes your white rice taste so good. Okay guys, so I went and fast forwarded just because it does take a little time, but, and you guys get the point of like la zanahoria. So, esta receta se la copié a mi mamá. No sé qué es lo de lo que el sabor que le da la zanahoria y el queso seco, pero cuando se um, acaba de cocinar, ay, mi papá esa no sabe hablar español. Cuando se acaba de cocinar es un sabor diferente y sabe súper bueno. So ahí si le quieren inventar, obviamente la zanahoria, el queso es, it's up to you guys if you want to add the cheese and the carrot. But um, the bouillon, the rice, and the butter, that is part of the white rice that I know how to make, that we make. So um, I went ahead and did half of the carrot. I'm over here talking about carrot, you know. If you don't talk with your hands, we can be friends. <laughs> so um, since I did add carrot, um, I usually just do plain white rice with either a kind of vegetables or a corn. I'm just going to add a little bit. You obviously don't want to add too much. But we're just going to add about a fourth of the carrot just to give it a little texture. So I'm gonna go ahead, mix this around, and cover it up with the lid, and we're gonna let this cook literally on your lowest heat possible. Um, the trick into that is that it helps evaporate the, um, it keeps in the heat, so it cooks with its own heat. You don't want it to, you don't want to put on super high heat because all it's gonna do is burn the rice, but it's not gonna fully cook. So usually I like starting the rice. I usually like starting the rice as I'm cooking everything else because by the time it's done, the rice has cooked in it. Bonjour, my friends. So, um, I already cut my jalapenos. I just wanted to briefly show you how I cut them. I'm going to fast forward and 
do like an ultimate like this is how it should look but so for your tomatoes this is how they should be looking like um what i just because veggies do shrink when you're cooking them what i did was i had the tomato pretend this is a tomato i cut it in half and then i just cut into slices so like halves of the half so this is how they should be looking like Jalapenos, I did the same thing. Um, I cut it, cut it into half and literally just did strips of the jalapenos. So now for our bell, bell peppers, um, I already washed them and dried them up. So what you do is take, cut them into half, literally pull apart the top end where the seeds are at for both sides, sides, both sides. And then what you wanna, what you wanna do is Cut them into strips as well. So literally just go down the chile. Y parten, partenlos. Y partenlos en rajas. So eso es lo que van a hacer para todos sus chiles. So para todos los chiles campana es lo mismo que van a hacer. Lo van a partir a la mitad. Les van a arrancar los, estos, um, las semillas. Y las van a partir todos en rajas. Vamos a hacer lo mismo para todos y para los otros. As I was saying, so voy a to Danny Zero. This, this thing is so spicy. Okay, guys, so I have all my veggies cut up. Ooh. <coughs> Look at how beautiful. Um, I didn't show you guys the cebolla because it's really how I cut it all the time, just into thigh, fine, fine, thin slices. And then we have all our chiles ready. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do the broccoli. Um, just show you guys a, a brief like how I do it real quick so that we can start um, grilling all our veggies. So for the broccoli, all you want to do is literally pull apart the top part so the things that look like little trees. I also did wash this already. So this is literally what you want to do for all of it. And just cut them up into smaller pieces. I hate biting into big pieces of food. So I personally just like... I just like to um, cut them up, making sure, just Sorry for the interruption, but um, I literally just fast forward, this is so easy, literally just making them into smaller pieces are pretty much oh, shaped out for you where to cut them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, actually my dad loves broccoli, so I'm gonna do all of it. And again, um, veggies shrink when you're grilling them, so it's fine if you have extra veggies, you know, you could do that whole, what's it called? Uh, meal prep. Camera woman, I want some spotlight things. It's not about the broccoli. Nah, just kidding. Um, yeah, so this, literally I'm done with this. We're gonna go ahead, bring them over and start grilling. Right now, um, I have everything set up to start grilling the veggies. So by the time you're done doing your rice and chopping your veggies, your chicken is already cooking, has been cooking for about 15 minutes at least, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so if you want to go ahead and see how it should start looking, so I literally just mix it up right now. Um, it's obviously going to start losing its pink color and turning whiter. So I'm going to, as long as there's juice in there, you're good. You don't want it to dry up before it's done cooking. So right now I'm just going to let it in there for another 10 minutes while I fry my veggies. So let's switch on over here to this side. As I was saying, so right now, um, we still have our chicken and our rice is looking good. Um, um, I have this big like stir fry pan. Um, what we're gonna do is heat up just a bit of oil just to get the veggies rolling in there. Um, right now I'm on, on number five, so heat from one to 10, one out of five. Let that heat up. Make sure to let it um, get hot before you throw your veggies and dump our broccoli Ooh. and all our veggies. I know it seems like a lot, but it is a lot of chicken too, and you can always add, subtract. We eat all the veggies in there. All of these veggies, um, it might be a little too much, but for the sake of it, it's fine. Um, I like to season them with a little bit of garlic salt just to give them their own flavor while they're, the juice is like um, cooking. And some of this, again, if we need salt, we'll add some. But literally let it sit there for like 
a minute. And while I get my spatula. So literally, have you been to those restaurants where they're like, I'll try doing that later, but for now, you just wanna go ahead and mix all your veggies in there, get the seasoning to spread out. If you're a lemon or lime, if you're a lemon or lime lover like myself, I like to add a little extra kick to it. I feel like seasoning and like everything for food. Um, it might seem like it's a lot of limon. This is um, optional. You can add, take, subtract, but for the sake of it, I feel like it, it adds that extra flavor it needs. So we're just gonna go ahead, mix this around, make sure the limon and the sal are well mixed. So esto a lo mejor parece mucho vegetal. My family loves vegetables. Si a lo mejor no les gusta la cebolla, le pueden quitar la cebolla. Si no les gusta el brócoli, a mí, en lo personal, no me gusta. Usualmente lo agarro cuando me voy a servir y le hago blup, que nadie me mire. No se crean, no se crean. Um, ahorita están la fuego medio, a media, ¿cómo se dice? No sé. ¿Tú sabes, Mariana? No, no, no. So, del 1 a 10 está el 5 al fuego, no tan alto ni tan bajo. Vamos a dejar que se empiecen a cocinar los vegetales. Ahorita tenemos el arroz que está aquí cocinándose, el pollo que ya casi está y los vegetales. Vamos a dejar que se cozan, más bien que se guisen. Les vamos a estar meneando en lo que está el pollo y se lo revolvemos todo. Yes. Don't yes me. Yes. I'll fire you. Anyways. You won't because I could quit. Y esta quien se cree? Um, I forgot to tell you guys, after the first 15 minutes that I let the chicken cook on its own juice, I went ahead and covered it. So right now. So right now, um, this is how it should be looking like. So you want to go ahead and uncover it. And it's a lot softer, a lot wider. Um, I let it cook cover for 10 minutes. We're going to let it cook for 10 more, and then we're going to uncover it. Um, our rice, this is how it should be looking like. I don't know if you can see how it's starting to fluff up. You don't want to open it yet. You want to, the total time that the rice cooks like this is like 22, I want to say like 20 to 22 minutes. Also, I forgot to mention, please, I know sometimes we like to mix it and it's totally fine, but when I do chicken, personally, just because of the bacteria, I don't like to mix it, like my raw food with my cooked food. So, no sé si ustedes hacen lo mismo, pero me gusta cuando hago el pollo por la misma bacteria que a veces cara. No me gusta usar la misma cuchara que lo vuelvo, que lo vuelvo crudo para la, lo demás. So, si pueden usar uno por cada cosa, esa es la de mi arroz, la de mi pollo. Y aquí tenemos nuestros vegetales. Como ven, no sé si recuerdan cómo estaba hasta arriba lleno de verdura. Lo que pasa es que en su mismo vapor, en el mismo jugo, se van um, haciendo chiquitos. So, es por eso que uso más vegetales. So as I was saying, um, you'll see how my vegetables have shrunk. It used to be like all up here, but it does shrink with its own vapor, the own juice that it's creating. It's the, the main reason why I like to um, add a lot of veggies. Anyway, so, so as I was saying, I was gonna try this, but I don't know if it's gonna work It's too heavy. If this helps, like if this works for you, you can also do that. It is a little heavy, but totally fine. I ask the Master Chef, come challenge me. I'm just kidding. We'll be back in the meantime. <laughs> I look like a fat ass. <laughs> I swear I'm not. Literally, my brother was antojado, so he went to go buy a big ass tres leches cake from the RN. It's actually really good. I'm not a big tres leches fan. But if you want to learn how to make one, let me know and I can do it for you. And as I was saying, in the meantime, mientras que esté en su break, si esté cocinando ya, un postrecito. Si quieren aprender cómo hacer pastel de tres leches, denle like a ese video y comenten abajo and I will do it. Lo voy a hacer. So. Eh, eh, eh. Little twerking session. 
if you want to learn how to cook and twerk, do not follow me because I suck at twerking. <laughs> but who knows, maybe I have some videos of my friends twerking and maybe that will be a vlog. I'll let you know. Debbie, 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 Debbie. I'm so into that song. And you're gonna wanna move. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, what is wrong with me? Jesus, help me. Dios mío. Ilumíname, ilumíname el camino. Yo sé que a veces me paso, pero. Anyways, our rice has been cooking for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? One, two. Oh, uh, look how bomb that looks. So I know the carrots are on the side. You just want to briefly kind of separate it. Ooh. And do you see how esponjadito the rice is? That's exactly how it should look like. It's esponjadito. It's not stuck to your pan. It's perfectly. Ooh, this might be the best rice by far let me go ahead and do a little taste test of my rice to begin with mm. fire freaking bomb so we're gonna go ahead obviously our fajitas are almost done we're gonna cover it go ahead and turn it off and we'll be fine so the chicken has been cooking covered. This is how it looks. So I cooked it for 15 minutes um, without the lid. And then I cooked it for 10 minutes with the lid. I came and kept mixing it, cooked it for another 10 minutes with the lid. And now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of let it grill. So let the juice soak up just for five minutes. Um, you'll know when your chicken is done. This isn't breast, so it doesn't look whitish as like a chicken breast would look but the way to see that your chicken is ready is literally you can pull it apart so it's not hard to um it's not hard to break apart it's literally white and tender and peels off fast that's how you know that your chicken is ready you see how easily and it's not being just nice and white so I'm just going to let it cook. I put up the heat to about a five just to let it um, soak up the juice. While that is finishing up though, we're going to go ahead and our veggies, I left them on low heat. So while the chicken is grilling, like it's final touches to get that golden brown. She's hungry. I'm sorry, mom. Um, while the chicken is um, getting its golden brown texture that I want on the outside, I literally put my um, veggies to a low, low heat because I don't want them to overcook before the chicken is in there. So, you see how our broccoli is looking cooked? Our veggies are like ooh, super tender. This is what we want. So our vegetables are practically done. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait one, about three minutes for the chicken and then we'll add it and we'll be done. All right, so it has been the five minutes. My chicken is all done. There is still a little bit juice, that's totally fine. Mix in with the veggies. So what we're gonna do, be careful. This is how I'll use a glove I'm in if you have one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pot. And, oh shit. Excuse that. We're gonna go ahead and add all our chicken with our veggies. I just went ahead and dumped my chicken into my veggies. It's still on low heat. Everything is cooked, so I don't want to have it on high heat because I don't want it to burn. But we're going to go ahead and slowly, this is going to be a slow process of mixing our veggies because we don't want it to over um, break. Like, we don't want the chicken to fall apart. We don't want our veggies to um, dissolve, you know, like that, to be all smashed and stuff. So, yeah, después de que se acabó de cocinar el pollo, la, se lo acabo de um, vaciar a la verdura. Vamos a batir con no a batir, pero a distribuir bien el pollo, la verdura, suavecito para que no se deshaga ni el pollo ni la carne. A ver, dejen veo. Backup says, si me sale esto, chef. ¿Listo? 
Uno, dos, si sí, se puede. Uh, boo. <ríe> no pude. Ok, va, uh, uno. Es que está bien pesada. Uno. Ahí va. Uh, si ¿sí se pudo, oh, bravo. Así es como se van a ver. Ok, my friends, we are finally ready to eat. This is my favorite part of when I cook. So, I have my rice here. It's been off already. So, we're gonna go ahead, grab some arrocito. Look how bomb that looks. And it's not just because I made it, but just look at that. <clears throat> then, we're gonna move on to our fajitas. So, we're gonna go ahead, just add a mixture of everything. How I mentioned, I personally hate. I <laughs> hate broccoli, so I don't, will not add it to my plate. But just for the means of it, I'm gonna add one. So, and again, disculpen el plato desechable, but who got times to wash? We're gonna go ahead and do a taste test. And be ready, my friends. Look what I got. Look what I got. Ooh. Like me. Wow, who is she? Who is she? Es arreglo, se bañó. Es que me bañé. So, <sighs> actually, friends, I'm so hot. It's not easy being a stay-at-home mom and a wife. <laughs> Just kidding. No, on the real though, let me do a taste test and. Puedo ver la cámara. What the fuck? What the? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try my bomb food. Ready? Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> salud, salud. Bless you. Okay, my dad only understands English. Just kidding. Anyways, guys, dude, this already. I know it's taking me forever. I'm so sorry. Look and how. Focus, focus. Oh, okay, ready? If I was alive, I mean, if I was dead, I would come back to life with this. Mm. Mm -mm. It's like a perfect spicy with the jalapeno. You don't need extra salsa. Again, all veggies are preferences. You know, this is the jalapeno. You can go ahead, take it out. If you don't like broccoli, take that nasty ass out. But I'm gonna go eat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share me, please. I appreciate it so much. Um, thank you to everyone who's following me. I actually reached, I think it was 100 followers or a little like that. I got the email like 4 in the morning and I was like, oh my god. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it to those that watch, that comment, that send me messages. If you try this, make sure to at me. I'm going to put my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. They're literally all the same. But thanks for watching. We'll be back with the next one. Just kidding. I'm back. I just wanted to come back and tell you I got seconds because it's that good. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm going to go now. Peace.